Are you guys ready to join us for an intense game of romantic cup pong? The objective of the game is to land a ball into the cup, then read the piece of paper placed inside the cup. The paper will either have you choose between a romantic comedy movie, favorite celebrity couple, and or TV couple. Then you explain why you chose that specific one. I have with me Kaylee Anderson, my pong playing partner today. Are you ready, Kaylee? I am. All right, let's, you go first. <laughs> okay. This is going to be terrible. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Okay, okay. One is so, in. Read your piece of paper. Oh, okay. Favorite full house couple, Aunt Becky and Uncle Jesse or DJ and Steve? Okay, I love Uncle Jesse, so obviously Aunt Becky and Uncle Jesse all the way. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. All right, now it's my turn. Let's see how bad I am at this game. Are you ready? Toe it's you. okay. Toe You're getting there. Retrieve those balls. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Name that rom-com. A pushy boss forces her young assistant to marry her in order to keep her visa status in the U.S. and avoid deportation to Canada. Pretty sure that's the proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Literally Reynolds. my favorite one of all time. It's a good one. Okay. We should have readjusted the cups. Let me see. It's okay. We can do it. Make some more. Oh, oh. yes. You're killing it. Go for it. Okay. Favorite celebrity couple, Katy Perry and John Mayer. Mayer. Okay, or Katie mm, and Orlando Bloom, John Mayer all the way. Um, well, the songs, and they're just cuter together. So. I agree. I agree. All right, here we go. Oh, it's all right. One more time. Oh, come on. We're just going to let that one go. <laughs> oh. Okay. There you go. Readjust them. Yeah, here you go. One more time. One more. It's all right. Okay. Go Do you want it. me to go? Yeah. Okay. If we don't get this one, then we can just pick a cup. Yeah. All right. Okay. Favorite friends couple, Ross and Rachel or Monica and Chandler? I say Monica and Chandler just because they're like the underdogs, you know? Yes. Nobody expected it. I think Ross and Rachel are overrated. I agree. Just 100%. Oh, first try. Thank you. Favorite celebrity couple, Sarah Jessica Parker and Robert Downey Jr. or Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick? I'm going to have to say Sarah Jessica Parker and Robert Downey Jr. just because they both have three names. <laughs> and they, they were together, together in the 80s. And you can't get much better than the 80s. Okay. Mm. Oh, let's go with let's that Let's just one. go, get, yeah, that go one. get that one. It's a good one. Okay. Okay, here, favorite celebrity couple, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, or Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin? Okay, all the way, Selena Gomez, just because I'm a believer, and that's when they were together, so, Good guess. sorry about, but congrats Good on their marriage. Let me see, ping pong ball, let's see what I can get here. Oh, I, that was real bad, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Favorite The Office couple, Jim and Pam or Angela and Dwight? Okay, so I can't really pick on that one because Jim and Pam were made for each other, but Angela and Dwight are so the complete opposite and weird that you just have to love them. So I'm going to say both. Okay, okay, good answer. Let's see. We're just going to go with that one. Oh, this is the big one. Name that rom-com, Benjamin Barry's advertising executive and ladies' man who, to win a big campaign, Betsy can make a woman fall in love with him in 10 days. Andy Anderson, okay, how to lose a guy in 10 days. Correct. Yeah. Good job. Okay. That's a good one. Dang. I'm running out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go me. A man in a legal but hurtful business needs an escort for some social events and hires a beautiful prostitute he meets only to fall in love. Pretty woman. Okay. Forever. And you get the last one. Last but not least, favorite glee couple, Rachel and Finn or Blaine and Kurt. Okay, Rachel and Finn all the way. They're literally the cutest. 
All right. Well, thanks for playing, Kaylee. We no did pretty problem. good. And to all my single ladies out there, if you don't have anyone to serenade you this Valentine's Day, don't worry because us here at MSU Tonight's got you covered. Stay tuned for a love song, Florida Man Edition.